GS Portage, the 1.6 front wheel drive. That is what I'm driving today. Now, this model came about in 2010, and since it's now 2015, a new model has already been announced. Uh, that would probably be in late 2015, early 2016. And uh, I, I am, of course, as a lot of people, very curious how it's gonna look like. I have seen the, um, the photos of it. They're on the web if you're curious how, uh, how it's gonna look like. So you can check that out for yourself. And um, yeah, but I'm still curious to really see it in, in real life, to see it from a close distance. We'll be reviewing that car as well, of course. But we have to wait for that for several months. This is a nice car. First impression of it is not too bad actually. This one doesn't have this one doesn't have the uh, leather trim. It's got, it's got the cloth trim. I will show you the details later on. Everything looks pretty much as you would expect it from a 2015 car. Dashboard is that's a nice design. Six-speed manual. You see this car all over. You see this car pretty much everywhere. And uh, so I'm kind of wondering why it's so successful. It handles good. It handles very good. It's quite silent. <laughs> Probably not as silent as a Lexus, but silent enough for me. You got so many crossover utility vehicles these days that it's kind of difficult to pick one really. Uh, you, of course, you got the Mazda CX-5, you got the um, the Honda CRV, you got your Toyota RAV4, Jeep Renegade. The list is pretty pretty much endless, so it's kind of difficult to pick a model. But at a certain point of time, you're going to have to pick one. Now let's check the interior. The steering wheel with the volume toggle switch. Search buttons. Search buttons. Mute. Switch from FM to AM. Cruise control. Voice command button. Voice command button. Phone buttons. Power window switches. Mirror switch. To retract the mirror. both sides of course you got your infotainment system with the navigation 
with your settings. Bluetooth, navigation, audio, system, screen settings, traffic. This car has the uh, Infinity system with seven speakers. So check out the sound. That's quite nice indeed. Here we have the buttons for air conditioning and heating. Air conditioning. It's got the climate control. You can set that on if you want. Also has a dual climate control, dual heating. Then you have the auxiliary, as well as the USB. Power outlet. Six P as I've mentioned. No electronic handbrake on this version. Got your cup holders. Armrest. Plenty of space right here. Glove compartment. Enough room in the back. Three adults can see you're quite comfortable. Enough leg room as well. It's got the, got the ISO fix mount. Very handy, this feature.
This is a good car. There's nothing wrong with it. The handling is good. Even though it does not feel as tight as the Mazda. The Mazda CX-5 that is. Here's the review of the 2015 Kia Sportage 1.6 liters front wheel drive. Take care.